Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You might be wondering, Ellie, what the heck and bop are you doing in your car? And to that, I say I am <laughs> starting a reading vlog, and I really wanted to start one today. You can't really see me because my steering wheel is here. Um, I probably should have moved over into my passenger seat, but this was just more convenient. But hi, everyone. Today we have a reading vlog for you guys. So we're going to update you a bit on what I have been reading, and then we'll just get into it. So, so far this year, I've only read four books. I will do kind of like, I think my plan right now is to do a video being like, hey, this is what I have been reading while I've been gone. Um, because last year I ended up finishing the year reading 41 books and audiobooks, which was super exciting. And then this year started and I've only read four. It's just, the semester has been insane. But last night I finished uh, part of your world. I just finished that book and honestly that book has just transported me into this reading kick that I was like I need to start the vlog because I always said when I started this channel that I wanted to do a vlog and then here I am haven't done it in my seven videos that I posted in like two years so I'm determined I'm determined to have a reading vlog for you guys today. Currently I'm reading Astra Parker Doesn't Fail by Ashley Herring Blake. Now this has been a book that I have been waiting for for so long. As soon as I finished Delilah Green Doesn't Care by Ashley Herring Blake, I literally was on the countdown until Astrid Doesn't Fail. As soon as I finished Delilah, I needed Astrid. And literally on release day, I like was driving past a bookstore, pulled over, got the book in my grubby little hands, like right at opening before my class, and then continued driving to campus. That day I started, I read the first 20 pages and I just wasn't in a place to read it. I just wasn't. It just, I was so excited for it, but just school is insane. I wasn't in the headspace for it. So I shelved it at those 20 pages and about three nights ago, I picked it back up. Presently, I'm about 114 pages about. I'm at a page 114 in it and I'm loving it. I haven't really gotten into books with a lot of renovations in them. I feel like I watch a lot of renovation TV. It's the Scott Brothers renovation, Island of Brian. Like I am a connoisseur when it comes to house reno shows. Like I watch so many of them, but I haven't really read any books with these themes and having like a renovation in them. So this is very exciting to pick up. I am loving Astrid. I think the reason I shelved it at first was I was struggling a little bit with how it started with kind of their like meeting and I was like oh no this is like a disaster right now I just I can't I can't deal with the disaster but now I'm in a place where I can deal with the disaster so that is all good fabulous and wonderful so as I said I'm about 114 pages in and I am really enjoying it I absolutely love what Jordan has envisioned for the Everwood. And there's just something about Ashley Herring Blake's writing that just fully transports me and I can see everything so clearly. Like she was writing about the design she had for one of the rooms and like I could see the entire thing and I'm just so interested. And so I don't even know what the words are. Like I'm just so interested to see how it's gonna go, how it's gonna turn out, how Ashton and Jordan are gonna navigate it how they're gonna navigate with the TV producers wanting drama. I am so excited. So that's where I'm at right now. I currently have to run to my next class. I then must study because this is, I'm starting this vlog right before finals week. But if there's one thing that I've known or noticed, or I guess know deep in my heart is that when I don't read, even just a little bit, then I get sad. <laughs> so I have to read this. So I'm gonna run to class. I'm going to update you guys probably when I get home and finish studying for the night or maybe I'll take a little break. I don't really know, but I will see you guys later. Hello, you guys. I am obviously not in my car and I'm not on campus anymore. So I'm in my house, I'm in my kitchen. I'm just watching Lou in the backyard, but I thought I would give you guys a little update on what's hip and happening. So my class was really good. It was quite a hard day to be honest because it was our last class before our final exam and my finals were 50% of my grade in this particular course. So it was really stressful. So today we just kind of like reviewed everything, went over some fun things and yeah, 
wasn't too exciting, but there was an event happening on campus. So I got to participate in that really quickly and get some free donuts, which was really fun. On my way home, it's typically when I listen to audiobooks or something fun, but that didn't happen today. I was driving my friend home, so we ended up listening to a podcast instead. My current favorite podcast is Anatomy of Murder. It's actually really good. It's a true crime podcast. But as of right now, I'm gonna make Lulu come on inside. I'm gonna grab a snack. I'm gonna study. It was just Easter, so we had like little Easter baskets. It's so fun. Some chocolate goodies. So I think I'm gonna grab a couple chocolates, go on my couch, cozy down, study for a little bit. So I will let you guys know. Alrighty guys, so I've read a little bit more on some study breaks throughout the afternoon. I've read about 15 more pages and I want to hop on and chat a little bit about what's currently happening. So there will be like a little spoiler thing because I want to talk about a conversation that Astrid and Jordan are having right now. So obviously we're at page 174 in the book. We're almost at the halfway point. Things are starting to happen and you know the connection between these two characters is really starting to jump off the page and I'm just falling in love with this story so much. And one thing that I love is that they're having true and honest conversations and they're actually while there is the internal dialogue from what i've read so far they're actually addressing some of the things that they're thinking about with each other now which i'm really enjoying and one of the things was jordan has put up kind of a boundary with astrid being like i know that you are now experiencing these feelings and wanting to explore your queerness but I personally can't be the person that you do this. I don't want to be a girl you kiss. I want you to kiss me. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but I think that that was just a really powerful statement that, you know, Jordan obviously is having these strong emotions towards Astrid and she really wants to interact with them and she really wants to act on them. But it really comes down to the fact that she's putting this wall up that is so real because she knows that she will get hurt and she knows that in this current moment while Astrid may want to kiss her there's more curiosity and self-discovery that Astrid needs to do before Jordan can put herself in that position. There's just something the way that Ashley Herring Blake is currently writing this book, these characters, that it doesn't feel like a dramatic coming out coming of age story it just feels like Astrid is Astrid and she's discovering these new parts of herself while still being Astrid there's something so beautiful happening right now all right you guys it's been a minute and let's chat about it so uh, currently right now, where am I in my life? I feel like part of what I love about watching reading vlogs is like hearing what the person's done while also what they have to say about the book. So it's been a couple days since I updated you. My days have been filled with so much studying. I had my last day of classes. I did so much studying. <laughs> I had a giant end of year uni party that was thrown by the university. So that was amazing. We got to have a lot of fun on campus with all of my friends um, and just listen to some live music. Like it was a really, really great time. And at the end of the night of that, I got to come and read my book, which I feel like is always, oh, I can't stop touching my hair. I'm so sorry. I feel like the teller of a good book is like when you're still having fun and you're still out with your friends and you're having a good time, you know, your weekly out of hermit social endeavor is when you're still having fun being like, oh, can't wait to go home and read my book. So what did I do when I came home from the giant party, a little tipsy? I read my book and it was amazing. I'm a lot further in with what is happening. I'm on page 311 now, so that's quite a bit further from when I last checked in with you guys. And fancy things are happening. I feel like this book is going by way too quickly and I'm so sad because I have just been devouring it. It has been the most wonderful study break at night before going to bed after to after rewriting notes, rereading lecture slides, reading readings, like after all of that, to really jump into the story has been so amazing, especially because it's such an easy read, a happy read, and I'm so invested in these characters. I'm just in love with it, honestly. It's so, so amazing. 
So yeah, I'm almost finished and I I don't want to be finished, but I don't think I'm going to be finished for another couple days, honestly, because I just have so much prep and exam work to do that I don't think I'll be able to spend very much time reading at night. I definitely spent a lot of time reading the last two nights. After like a full day of studying, I stayed up a little bit later than I should have reading, um, but it has been amazing really really enjoyed it. Where we are in the story is things are kind of starting to happen. The inn's design is really coming together and it's so beautifully pictured. Like Ashley Herring Blake, please give lessons to some other authors on how to paint a beautiful picture and how to just fully immerse your reader into the world that you've created because you've done it so beautifully. Thank you. And I'm just so in love with Jordan and Astrid. I think that they're a really good balance of each other and I think that they really understand each other in certain ways and just how they interact and just the certain things that they do to make the other person calm down or feel heard is just so adorable and they just there's just like an understanding which I really enjoy so everything is happy and dandy here this was my excuse after dinner to not jump right into studying because I wasn't quite quite ready to do that yet however it has now been almost four minutes and I must venture back to my to my corner with my desk and study Alrighty guys, so last night I made it a bit further into Ash Parker Doesn't Fail. I got about 50 pages further and I am really enjoying it. There are some really nice conversations happening about kind of sexuality and how it's not always stagnant and can be changing and grow with you as you grow as a person, which I think is really important and I'm really enjoying reading about. There's been a lot of fun events and one thing that I absolutely love is Ashley Heron Blake's ability to just absolutely capture moments and have them play in your head like a film and that is why she's one of my favorite authors. So I don't have too much to update. I read about 50 more pages. I'm going to continue reading this probably later, later tonight. As for right now, I have lots of schoolwork to do but I wanted to give you guys this little update. <music> Alrighty, you guys welcome back so as you guys have seen I've had some very eventful days for this reading vlog and yesterday you guys saw my breakfast before my final final exam which was super super exciting it was literally so delicious and I loved making it so I had to film it for you guys but I have some thoughts I have now finished Asher Parker doesn't fail and I wanted to give you guys kind of a update summary thoughts that are going on because I know this vlog didn't completely vlog <laughs> entirely. Finals got really crazy. Obviously it wasn't a priority for me to continue filming because school comes first. So I did continue reading a little bit and a little bit over the like last week and yeah so let's chit chat about it. Before we get into chit chatting, before we get into chit chatting, I want to show off my McLaren F1 racing shirt that matches my McLaren nails um, because I love F1 so much that I wanted to share that with you guys. <laughs> so I have some notes on my computer. So the first thing that I absolutely really loved about this book was there was a lot of little details in the book between the two characters, little things that came back and forth that just reminded me, made me have a smile. I love little details so that made me super super happy to read about. So I really enjoyed that between the characters. I won't give any examples because I don't want to spoil those little moments for you as the reader because honestly they're so they're so special and they're so amazing. One thing that I really hate in books is when people are texting in books and there's emojis. I don't know there's just something about a picture of an emoji in my book that just no bueno for me. And one like book that I can think of that has that is Spanish love deception. It drove, it drove me absolutely insane. Like I had to DNF the book. Like I literally could not handle emojis in text messages. And I know that seems kind of silly, but for myself, I just could not handle it. So the fact that when they were texting, there weren't emojis, but they were like describing the emoji, I was like a lot happier with. And I know that's like such like a nitpicky situation and such a nitpicky little thing, but I genuinely cannot handle emojis in my books. The next thing that I loved about this book was I loved the aura, the imagery that Ashley Herring Blake created. I can picture the Everwood Inn perfectly. Like I can tell you 
what happens in the rooms. I can tell you the magic. I can describe to you the herringbone wall and oh I just just reminding me I just I love that in it is so well described it is so amazing the wall feature at the end of the book like I just little details oh I can't I know you guys probably aren't knowing what I'm talking about here but if you had the book you would know guess who's here everybody <laughs> Miss Lulu yeah oh thank you baby she's gonna talk about the books with us so <laughs> for no Okay, one of the things that I didn't like in the book was that the characters were a little bit less developed and it wasn't even that I don't even know how to describe it which is kind of like a bad thing for like a booktube channel but to me personally there just felt like there was like a little bit missing from some of the characters we were really dropped into their life the other thing that kind of made me sad was everyone really wasn't expecting a lot from Jordan her even her wife just wasn't expecting a lot from her and I don't think that that was necessarily fair to her character in some resolve and they didn't really go into reasons why everyone believed she was potentially so unstable and a failure which kind of bugged me a little bit I was like okay you're gonna say this about my character that I am in love with right now please expand on it please give me the reasons why so they were a little bit and their backstories and like some things were like a little bit underdeveloped which was surprising to me because Delilah Green doesn't care was so developed and I knew so much about the characters but it could potentially be that this was just the second book she didn't want to bore readers with as many details but because it is set technically a standalone it just felt a little bit off so there's that the other thing that i wasn't 100 percent sure about was the fact that everything kind of resolved very well and i know you might be thinking I know you might be thinking, oh, why is that a problem? You love happy endings. You love when things are tied neatly in a bow and everyone's like happy-go-lucky. But I just felt that there was kind of a disconnect, to be honest, because, so this is gonna, I'm gonna go into spoilers, so spoiler warning. After Inside America discovers that Astrid is not the true designer of the inn, Jordan kind of takes over and she creates this wonderful space. Jordan created the original design, there were a lot of technical elements of the design that were not correct and a lot of different textural items that needed to be addressed that Astrid helped with. As well, I love what Jordan has done with the inn and the space. There's still a lot more that she needs to learn, to grow, to become an amazing designer, to then have these amazing opportunities. So it just kind of felt very instantaneous that I was like, oh my god, you designed the inn. Here's a magazine cover. Here's guest TV show design spots. Here's internships. Here's job. Like, you know, like there was like five different things that she was offered. And I was like, okay, but like... Yeah. Alrighty y'all, we are coming to the end. I don't know why my hands are doing everything. The end of this kind of vlog. So I'm gonna give you my final update. Overall, I really enjoyed the book. You guys were able to see my life going through, doing some things, reading the book, characters. I think that it was really fun. There were little things that didn't quite work 100%, some things that needed to be flushed out a little bit more, some things that maybe wrapped up a little bit too happily. So for that reason, I'm giving this book four stars. I thought that, I really thought it was going to be a five star read until I hit, I think my last reading update with you guys when I was around page like, I don't even know, I think it was like 260, somewhere around there that then it kind of lost a little bit of its spark for me. I still really enjoyed it, but it just wasn't a five star read anymore. Um, so I'm giving it four stars. I still really enjoy it. I will reread it. I'm excited for the next book in the series. And honestly, this has just been such a fun reading experience taking you along with me. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all so, so much. Happy reading and more videos are coming soon. Bye, everybody.